Hi, this is Michael Buffer, and let's get ready for EJ Boxing Live. So look, what do you think they say? They say uh, John Snow gonna kill Daenerys, take the black back at the wall, and then they gonna vote Bran in as the, uh, the, the you know the king of the Seven Kingdoms. He gonna sit the Iron Throne. Uh, maybe. But you know the thing is various, man. Very, see, we're very sending them loads. So I don't know who we send them letters to. So it's gonna be like, and and then she, she's not. You know what I'm saying? Like her dad. I mean, uh, it's weird. I don't know. I don't know. Jon Snow's in horror. Like people looking at her horror. But you know, if it was the other way around, they would have got smoked. So I don't know what everyone's complaining about, man. More me than you, and that's that. Maybe that theory is good theory, though. Maybe. God, Game of Thrones got me depressed. Got me depressed. Why are you depressed? Cause bro, like, I know I went out. Man, last week, me and you were saying to YG, we want to burn down the city. And YG was saying, no, nah, man, go burn. Yeah. But now you see why. Like, but at the same time, that's not the city I remember. Cause I remember them people now. I remember them throwing shit. I remember them people cheering for Ned Stark's head. Thank I remember. You. I remember the same people. See, where they, where are all them? I remember the same people throwing shit at Joffrey. I remember yes. the. I remember the same people. Yeah, that when Cersei got uh, done the Walk of Atonement, they were pissing on her, throwing shit on her. Where are them yes. people there? So all of a sudden, you gonna tell me I need to feel sorry for them people? But then they got women and children running for their lives, screaming and this, that, the other. But when people are getting victimized by the faith militant, everything's cool. But now you gonna make me? You you trying to make me feel sorry? Like that never happened. And then. You 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 people didn't say nothing when Manasala got head cut off. Nah, man. Right. But yo, right. Grey uh, Grey Worm stabbed them in their back. Yes. Yo, yo, Dagger burn down the sea. Burn them up, man. Burn them up. Wrap them up. I see Cersei crying like a yo, no. The 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 the, the, the scorpions are gonna do it. I was like, bro, Kyber's telling you, look, the city is done. We're out of here, bro. <laughs> We're out of here, bro. <laughs> shit, man. Yo, oh, on some on some real shit, man. If she would have been so naive. You know that she was gonna lose. She could have really got out of there. You know what I'm saying? She could have really maneuvered her way. Cause her, think about it, her and Jamie damn they got out of there. If they wouldn't, if the shit wouldn't have got collapsed, they would have hit the wall. Would have hit the wall, and they would have disappeared together. You know what I'm saying? But this is the thing right here. To reiterate what you just said, EJ, when you know, you know, the same people who was who was doing this, this, and this, you're supposed to feel sorry for them. Mm. Let's be real. Tyrion called it though. Tyrion said, "Yo, man, if you give them people a chance, they're gonna flop on that bitch with with the quickness. That's just how it is." And and out there, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. They just flip floppers. You know what I'm saying? If you give them a chance, they're gonna they're gonna they're gonna flock to whoever the next person is. That's gonna give them a better situation. You know what I'm saying? And and right now, that's you. So on the flip side, we we've been knowing what kind of people they are all all fucking. Eight seasons, you know what I'm saying? They gon' they gon' flip flop and and they just like any other person in the fucking Game of Thrones, man. Those characters, those people of the realm, gon' move with whoever got the most power, you know what I'm saying? And, and she, Daenerys ain't give him a chance to do that. She was like, you know what? Fuck this. Tyrion already told me y'all some flip floppers. Y'all gonna be turning on me the first chance I can't get y'all food or some shit. Fuck y'all. I'm gonna smoke all y'all ass. Yeah. So right. That's what she <laughs> Man, like like EJ said, man, just to, just to touch on it, y'all just said, Ned Stark, you gotta think, man, this is a city full of rapists, murderers, mm -hmm. killers, mm -hmm. all that shit, man. They be grabbing kids, snatching them up. They told us that. All through, they was about to take Sansa and fuck the shit out of that girl. Yeah. You know, you ain't live with that, are you? Yeah, we live. But okay, we... I don't want to mess up your... I ain't want to... Nah, nah, you can go with it. Don't yeah, worry about it. It's can, all good. Go yeah, ahead. Yeah, okay. Yeah, man, they was finna fuck the shit out of Sansa. <laughs> man, they was finna tie her little ass up. Mm. And then the hound told Arya, like, this guy's out there that's worse than me. You know, man, that's a doggy, doggy dog world, man. I'm glad she burned the shit out of King's Landing. Because yeah. I got tired of Daenerys playing games. She should have been done this. Mm. And that's what King Landon need. Mm. I think Tyrion just was thinking about his sister and his brother being in King's Landing, so he was biased. But them the same people who was who who was calling for his head when he was on trial. <laughs> and he saved them. So I don't understand what why everybody's so sensitive about King's Landing as if though that's the only city in Westeros. 
Like the veil ain't got no issues. Think about it. Daenerys not burning down the veil. She didn't burn down the north. She ain't fucking with Dorne. She ain't. She just, it's King's Landing. The, the shittiest place in Westeros. Yes, man, come on now. With, with the biggest population, too. Right. So people acting like this girl just going to each kingdom. She ain't fuck with none of them guys up in the Iron Islands, like she said. She cool with the Dornish people, like she said. She ain't double cross nobody. The only the only people who give her problems, man, was Cersei, as usual, and flip flop. Go ahead, Zoom. Get it out, Zoom. You just you just muted yourself, Zoom. Something happened, bro. Bro, on some head queen bitch type shit. And she keep knocking their heads off, man. So, I, I, you know, I like the episode. I like where the season going. I like it all. You, you, you know what's funny to me, right? I, you know, I, I very already started doing this bullshit. When Susie got down to King's Landing, she it shows to me that we, we why Varys don't want it burned down because Varys likes all the bloody devious shit because he's comfortable in there. So if you burn down the city, Varys don't know what to do with himself, yeah? So, and you know, <laughs> Varys must have thought, what have I done? I brought this woman here? I should have left her out there in the cold. And hold on, hold on. Varys, when you were sitting around the small table, right, the small council, right? You were saying to, to tell him, tell him Eddard Stark to go and kill the queen. You was out there. I remember you bitch ass, yeah? Trying to say, you know what? Maybe, maybe we should get better of a dust in case. And Eddard said, no, what? We're going to kill women and children. Well, he ain't got Varys goes, hey, listen, you never know what they're going to grow into. It's best to get rid of them now. Eddard goes, Eddard Stark goes, no, the day we start killing women and children, we need to look ourselves in the mirror, right? And, and the next, you know, Varys is down there coming down. The moment he realized things don't go his way, he turned his back on her. So he likes all the intrigue and all the do bullshit because you burn King Landon down, all that bullshit stops, yeah? Varys can work his way, whispering in the ears and doing all his bullshit. Nothing as well, what bothers me, right? It's how people are not scared of these dragons, bro. I don't understand, bro. Like, I don't know. This is what I'm saying is how, how sometimes when they're acting, it doesn't relate. You've seen a dragon. Not even one, you saw two and there was three before. Three dragons. Yet Sansa wants to sit there Right and wind up Daenerys. Like, what are you doing? Like, I don't understand in my mind. Like, why would you antagonize someone who has three dragons when the woman's trying to be polite to you? All she had to do is be cool. Sansa, I'm talking about Sans Sansa. All Sansa had to do is cool and then pay respect, and it would have been on a popping. But nope, she has to sit there looking down on her, disrespecting her at the table. Nah, bro, made her paranoid, and then nah. Well, hey, listen, what happens to people, what happens to people, man? That's what happens when you, when you try to play games in Game of Thrones, yeah? You either, you either go to the throne or you die. Simple as that. I don't think she'll feel no ways about burning Jon Snow, you know? I don't know if the dragons are burning. She's Shikara, I don't think she'll feel no way. I think Daenerys runs the film. I think she's going to take over, man. I think I can see it, man. So I see it. I, I like I like how Drogon let loose on their ass, man. Drogon <laughs> been trying to do this for the longest. Drogon, every time Daenerys be on some political shit, Drogon be like, man, I'm out of here. I'm finna grow and get bigger. I Call me when you're in trouble. Mm. Every time her ass got in trouble, Drogon came and flamed shit up. And this time, he knew. He was like, oh, it's go time. And he flamed shit up, boy. <laughs> hey, Drogon was, was a savage. Mm. People ain't bad. Drogon is a savage. He don't... He don't you can't hit him with no spears. He know how to maneuver. He know how to shake. He know when to burn. And that shit, that fire that that dude got, that dragon got is hot as hell. Man. I'm hey, about yo, man, that, that shit, that, that shit ain't only hot, bro. That shit got some velocity behind that, that, that shit. Hot, <laughs> that shit got power behind it, man. That shit hot, man. That nigga flames is hot as fuck. That motherfucker be that man. Hey, Drogon, Drogon just knocked this. You you just don't fuck with Drogon like that, man. And, and let's bear in mind, yeah. Them people came into the city. They believe what Sam, they believe what Cersei said. They said she's coming. A tyrant's coming to the city. She's bringing her hordes. They're coming to rape and pillage. And but like, hey, they did. That's what it looked like. They did rape and pillage. But hold on a minute. You're the same people. But listen to Cersei when Cersei's out there beating down the people with her incest crown. I don't know she never that family's never been in there. So if I if me if I had my family there so and they're telling me, yo, the, the 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 dragon queen's coming with her dragons and they're gonna burn down the city, I'm like, yo, 
I'm going for the hills. Why Why would I go myself into a castle just in case if she's got dragons, she's going to burn up the castle because that's what dragons do, right? So why would you put yourself in, in that way anyway? I'll go the opposite way. I would have hanged out in the fields, man. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, yo, boy, but you, you never know. People are paranoid that, but I don't understand why people thought they had to, they had to run into the Red Keep. Like, like Cersei was going to defend them. She had them in there as shields thinking, oh, that queen's not... Because their thing is, at that time, she thought the queen was civilised. Uh, it wasn't crazy, but you pissed her off, man. You pissed her off. And when you piss people... And you know what? Oh, and let's reverse it. Let's say Daenerys was in, in, in there and she had the people. You think, um, you think Cersei would hold back? You think Cersei would hold back? <laughs> so how about people looking on that way? People need to reverse it. Cersei would have been in there with her dragons burning up the place if she had the dragons and stuff. So I don't know what people are getting upset for. Simple that. I don't know. Yo, I'm I'm gonna be real with you, EJ. I I 100 percent agree agree with you on on that on that that logic right there. Cause this is the deal right here. If Cersei would have had dragons, right, three dragons, hmm. bruh, it wouldn't even be no Game of Thrones. No. She just would have went through fucking everybody off. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. She would have immediately said, you know what, I got dragons. You know, she would have implemented some kind of strategy from somebody in her family you know what i'm saying she would have got the best people on the job to come up with a strategy to take over the shit as fast as possible mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying mm -hmm. so on the flip side you know you know danny she she i think she started out as long as she could you know what i'm saying and uh at that at that particular point man and that scene when she on top of that little building or whatever you know what i'm saying and she looking around she just felt enraged bro she was like man like Man, hell nah, like, fuck this. I'm just gonna go ahead and get, get rid of this whole shit. I think she felt disgusted to be in King's Landing, dog. Like, I think she was like, man, fuck this place. I can't stand this place. This is, you know, this used to be my family shit. You know what I'm saying? They so she said, you know what, man? I'm finna wipe out the whole population in this motherfucker. We gonna start from scratch. You know, but... Man, that episode, man, was 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 on and popping, man. You know what I'm saying? But this is the deal right here. I don't know why anybody after after what she did, bro. She got to have a reputation to be just because cause they tried to use that. They tried to use, and she and she knew that they tried to use the people against her because of what she represented all the way up until that point. And that was being somebody that took care of the people. You know what I'm saying? That's why Cersei tried to bring all the people in there mm. so in a sense man Cersei tried to use the people as a shield mm -hmm. but Danny was like at that point Danny was like nah my people who with me they with me right now fuck them people you know <laughs> what I'm saying mm. and 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 she was like nah mercy mercy not gonna be our not gonna be our weakness man it's gonna be our strength you know what I'm saying that's why she said watch this let me show you something but man that episode was was really was really live but on the flip side the people who was on her side, you know, because this is the thing right here, man, I tell everybody, man, people follow Jon Snow at this point right here, mm. you know, we gonna, that's, that's really what's gonna fuck everything up, you know what I'm saying, that's the only thing that's gonna hold her back, man, because you gotta think about it, only a few people know that Jon Snow is, you know, a Targaryen, mm. now how many letters did that boy send yeah, out, man? I think how many? How, that's what I'm saying. How many letters did did did, did Varys send out? He sent out several letters, man. If you if you go back and look on the episode, yeah, he, he got like to? two or three letters on the table. Yeah, who he sent them to though? Yeah, who he sent them to though? That's that what I'm saying. I know he probably sent it to to Dawn. I think I think Dawn got one for show. Yeah, yeah. I think Dawn got one for show, and it's the thing right here. That one that he set on fire and he put in that little can uh, that little container. Bro, you gotta think about it right here. Everybody know in order for a fire to 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 to, to be successful, it needs oxygen. He semi burned it, and then he put it in there, and he killed the oxygen. So the fire naturally gonna go out. So that leather inside of there is still probably legible to a certain extent. You know what I'm saying? But we are gonna see what's popping with it, man. I, I don't see nobody like trying to run up on her and challenge her after she didn't fucked off King's Landing like she did. It's gonna have to be somebody close to her, is what I'm saying. You dig what I'm saying? Yeah, I agree with what both of y'all said, man. And people just gotta remember, man, that this lady lost a lot for these people. And that's what I don't understand about sons of them. They, uh, Daenerys already said that, look, our fathers was fucked up. My father was fucked up. 
you know, uh, Baylon was fucked up. We get it. We trying to right these wrongs. And it seemed like Sansa, to me, just hasn't gotten over the past. And she's using that to act like she got a good excuse to hate Daenerys. What Daenerys ain't did that but save the North from the goddamn Night King, you know, essentially. And that lady, that lady got her dragon killed trying to go on a dummy mission to help the North, but then also try to mediate some shit between Cersei. The whole point of them going up there to get that dead man or giving them an example of the Night King and what's coming was to show Cersei and to prove to some motherfuckers who, who ain't even loyal. You know, so that lady lost the dragon and helped the Night King out for no reason. Without that move and the, the stupid advice of Tyrion, this lady could have been seized King's Landing and then dealt with the Night King on the back end. I agree. I agree, man. 100%, man. I, 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 go ahead. I, I disagree to a point, you know what I'm saying? So this this the deal right here. I'm going to tell you why I... To 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 point, I definitely agree with. Cause last time, uh, Zone, we talked about this. She could have, she could have really, she could have really fucked over King's Land and then went and dealt with the Night King. You know, she could have. That's definitely. I one hundred percent agree with that, right? But on the flip side, again, I keep telling everybody this, bro. Look, the whole situation about about the North and the Stark family. Look, bro. This, and I've been screaming this from the beginning, man. The Stark, this shit don't roll without the Stark family because as much as everybody say Jon Snow is a uh, Targaryen, his principles is basically, essentially, a, he has Stark principles. You understand what I'm saying? That's 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 the core. Of think, that's what we think, though. It, that's what. But, 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 I, I think they're giving too much credit to Ned influence on because they say Rhaegar, Rhaegar was a solid motherfucker too. Now. They see, see, we just don't get to see his character. We keep judging off the Mad King, but it's a lot of Targaryens that's been solid through and through now. Yeah, but no, I got that. But 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 the basis though, and that's why they and and and, and I'm not gonna disagree with that. But the basis of what Jon Snow represents to me is a Stark. That's why whenever they they talking about family, Arya, Sansa, they're like, "Yo, you are family too." They letting you know like. You a stalk, bro. No matter what, no matter what, no matter if you a bastard, no matter if you not, you just come out and now you're a Targaryen, bro. You 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 a stalk. You've always been a stalk. You family. You know what I'm but saying? To me, but to me, he got more of a Rhaegar Targaryen feel. To me, I, he don't got no Ned Stark. I mean, I, it seems that way, but I feel like he got more of a Rhaegar Targaryen feel because they was finna put this guy on the throne and they couldn't wait for Ares to die. I mean, but see, they was really, they really, Rhaegar, I, the, based on how they describe Rhaegar and his character and who he is, then he seems more like uh, his Targaryen lineage than uh, Ned. Because Ned, Ned was real indecisive. Y'all forget the transition that John made. Y'all remember when Sir Allison was fucking with him and he came in and he said, your goddamn father is a traitor's bastard. And John looked at that motherfucker with that knife, and he tried to hurry up and stab him. And he was like, you gonna hang for this bastard? That's not Ned. That's that Targaryen shit in him. When he chopped that, when he chopped that head off of fucking uh, that, other, that other sucker dude from King's Landing, he was like, I've always been scared. Man, that was Targaryen. Yo, but look, hold on, hold on, but look, I, I, hold up. I, I, I can, I, I'm gonna tell you why, I'm gonna tell you why I say he's more stark. I'm gonna tell you why, because of the simple fact of this right here, and it's and it's always been like this. Okay, anybody that's ever followed either the storyline in the book or this storyline within the show, everybody knows the North is a bit different than the rest of the the rest of the the the, the, uh, the seven seven kingdoms, right? Because this is the deal. Yeah, Dawn too. So, but the deal about it is they. In the, in, on the north, nobody on the north never really even tried to take the throne, right? So Rob, Rob Stark, he always said, "Yo, I don't want to be, I don't want to be on the throne." You know what I'm saying? Ned Stark was, "Yo, no, look, I don't want to be on the throne." You know what I'm saying? Jon Snow, "Yo, look, I don't want to be on the throne." You know what I'm saying? I want to go to the north 
and I want to be with my people, and I want it to be peaceful, and I, I, I don't want y'all to be fucking with us. You know what I'm saying? I just want peace for the seven kingdoms in the realm. You understand what I'm saying? Now, a Targaryen, a Targaryen is all about seizing power. A Targaryen is all about controlling the seven kingdoms. A Targaryen will go to any length to obtain that goal and maintain that goal. You dig what I'm saying? Jon Snow is not about that. Jon Snow is is what is, is to Daenerys what what uh, Ned was to Robert Baratheon. You understand what I'm saying? Loyal to a fault. You dig what I'm saying? Got him killed. You know what I'm saying? I wouldn't be surprised if his loyalty for Daenerys got him killed. You understand what I'm saying? That's why I personally feel like he's more Stark. I mean, yeah, everybody gonna have their faults. You know what I'm saying? You know, the Stark, the Ned Stark wasn't a, a perfect guy. You know what I'm saying? But in a sense of what John represents is, is is the Stark and the North all day. Even, you know, when you go back and you look at it, let's think about it, man. They were the most decimated family in the whole storyline from the beginning. Now, toward the end, they damn near the, 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 think about it. Call out all the people that's characters that represent a house. Danny is technically the only Targaryen, or she wants people to believe that she's the only Targaryen, right? The Baratheon family, the only one left is Gendry. He's a bastard. You know what I'm saying? Like, you just go through all these families, man, and you go to the Stark family, they stronger than ever. You got Sansa, Arya, Bran, technically John. Like, they went from the most decimated and separated family not to basically, man, they, they a major player. And they got the least of, at one point, he was like, man, this Stark family fucked up. So, you know, that's why I just kind of, we're going to see what's going to happen on this last episode, bro. I just, I agree with what you're saying. And he, he has some customs from the North. But the boy had to learn a lot. Because he told you, he said, man, I didn't really want to like Rob. You know, it was in him. You know, he was hot. He was ready to go to the wall. He, he didn't give a fuck about it. He violated his, his, his uh, vows at the Night's Watch for love, in a sense, uh, to be with a woman that he, he felt strongly about, which was the wild. John got principles like the North, but his attitude is like a Targaryen. He's impulsive sometimes, and he, he know what he's doing. He know how to set this shit off. I mean, Ned was way more controlled and loyal to a fault. Now, John got that loyalty in him, but if you crank John up the wrong way, he'll let that passion run loose on your ass. I mean, like I said, we'll see it time and time again, man. The guy don't kill people just for breaking oath. The guy will let loose and do what he got to do. Just like when he got to fight with uh, Carl Tanner, he let loose on him, let loose on the Magna of Fames. The dude impulsively went up to the uh, the to hard home to negotiate after the after tricking them folks and shit. Like that's some impulsive stuff, bro. The boy ran up and just naturally touched the dragon. Like man, fuck it. You know what I'm saying? See, that's that's his Targaryen in him. Even though he's principal in some of the starts, you know, they, they, their beliefs and, and their call signs, the boy is more like a Targaryen than we know. And if he fuck around and kill Danny. That's really gonna solidify that. Because right now I feel like he's battling with his Stark side and his Targaryen side. The Stark in him wants him to be loyal to his queen and to the throne. He don't wanna get the throne. But like they told him, bro, you might not have no motherfucking choice. You might have to kill this motherfucker and sit on it. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I, I just think Jon Snow is more like a Targaryen than than, than, than what we know. You know, that's just that's what I see it. But hey, look, a a answer to me this right here, though. I got a big question for you. Okay. The, he, he, both of y'all, the Stark family got more avenues to the throne than any other family in the storyline. Y'all believe that? Yes or no? Because I, I consider John to be a Stark, but go ahead. Oh, no. No, I just feel like this is Targaryen. Just them two alone right now, it's, it tells you all you need to know. But that's what I'm saying. I'm just saying to me, to me, if John, if John, because it's the basis of his principles and his customs is from is for the from the north, right? So again, if John 
makes it to because he yeah think about it. he's a stark too because his mama was a stark you know what i'm saying so so to me if john get the throne to me that's that's to me that's having a stark on the throne you know what i'm saying that's, that's the way i look at it but we all know especially that time we go by the lineage of the father to be technical but we because yeah without a doubt without a doubt it's not like okay his mother's family played a role in his life but it's not like he knew his daddy or his mother you see what I'm saying? And, and and people act like he just had it cushy up there. Man, they put that nigga through some shit because he was a bastard. In the books, they're way more cooler to John than what they got on the goddamn show. Okay, especially Sansa. Sansa's still being a dick toward the dude right right now. You know what I'm saying? Only person that really liked him was Arya, but um and, and Rob, but everybody else kind of was like, yeah, this nigga a bastard. You know, he couldn't he couldn't go in there and eat with them. Captain was getting this nigga hell. Sit the man to the wall, like I mean, that start shit overrated, man. That, that start shit is overrated, man. That boy like a Targaryen, man. Bro, bro, he get treated like every bastard do. They don't treat none of all. Uh, uh, look, all the bastards, look, bro. Like, bro listen like, to me. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. All the bastards in the show, all they want to do is prove that they belong in the family. That's, that's it. That's broad. That's broad. That's, I mean, everybody want to prove that they belong in the family. I mean, I mean, no, nah, not really. Man, t- you know, Tyrion was the last thing. He tried to do that the whole damn show. I mean, when well, he got a deformity, nah, though, bro. Man, nah, all them They're not the same as being a bastard, bro. Okay, Samuel tried to do the same thing. And that man was a, 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 a target. Come on, now. They do this all show. Oh, oh, listen, that's too broad. If you, you break that down a little bit more for me, then I can kind of rock with you. But saying all bastards, that's the whole show. Even even Cersei said that she told her dad, she said, have it ever uh, occurred to you that I might be the motherfucking one? <laughs> he even, she even said that. So this ain't, no, no, no. Marjorie Tyrell was a soldier for her family. She did, she switched motherfucking kings like draws just to, under the advice of Olenna. So everybody's trying to prove their worth to their family, period. Whether they best or not, um, I just think that Jon Snow is more like a Targaryen than people realize. So you got to give me more. That's that's too broad to say he he you know all bastards try to prove they except the ones in Dorne. I mean, all them all them kids uh, try to prove themselves to they they family. But let me ask you another question, Zone. Okay. With the t- Targaryens, though, right? Why, why do you think it is that if, if you think Jon Snow is more Targaryen, why do you think it is that he does not want the throne? And that's all the Targaryens represent, storyline-wise, in the book as well as in the show. Okay, I'll give you an example. So the only thing I'm going to do is just give you an example of when a Targaryen didn't want the throne. Amon told him that at the wall. Amon, and you know, I heard that they had killed my brother's son. You know, he had went into that whole dialogue about I had relinquished my own rights to the throne. So this ain't the first time. All the Targaryens don't necessarily want the throne. All of them don't. So I can't, I can't say that. You know what I'm saying? I think we just got some strong motherfuckers. In the Targaryen bloodline, because they got dragon, they have high, highly success at getting that motherfucker. But far as like nobody, no Targaryen ever didn't want the throne. No, it's, it's plenty of guys that didn't want the throne or wasn't entitled to the throne and gave up gave up the seat as a Targaryen. And, and that you you saying that as a start? Well, I got a Targaryen that was at the wall that went to the wall and gave up his seat on the throne, similar to John. Which proves that he's more like a Targaryen because Amon, it, he walked more of Amon path than Ned Stark path. And we didn't even get that much from Amon. Except that he was a maester at the fucking wall. And, and, and they always said, they asked Amon, how are you able to tell when a man's telling the truth or they complimenting him on his ability to read people? In the book, they go into more detail and they tell Jon Snow, or Jon Snow tells Tyrion, not in the show, but in the book, he tells him that bastards 
are pretty much trained to see, you know, uh, the shit that people want to hide. And in, 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 I'm paraphrasing. So he's more like Targaryen than Stark, man. But see, that's the thing, you know, what I'm getting from you right now is, and I, and I don't I don't completely disagree with what you're saying, but what you're doing is you're crossing the book in the actual show, which at this point in time is drastically different. You see what I'm saying? Now, when you talk about the Targaryens and you talk about the Stark family and how cruel they was to John, that's, a, that's the book. You want me to leave the book out? You want me to leave the book out? No, no, that's a book thing, but that's what I'm saying. That's a book thing because okay. I, I, I've read the books as well. You see what I'm saying? I can, I can so, leave the book out. Yeah, so I, I feel like the point, the point of view. Amon said that in the show. Then. Yeah, yeah, no, I'm not. That's what I'm saying. I got that point. I got that point. Sansa, Sansa was being difficult in the show as well. All right, so that that ain't. Uh, Catelyn was being a bitch in the show for real. Like, so I don't got to use this book. Those three examples straight up out of Winterfell of his own people. But on the flip side, though, you got to think about it like this. The reason why they always treated John like that was a simple fact that he was a he, he's a bastard. You know what I'm saying? Like it got to a point to where they couldn't really see John's true value until they was forced to see his true value. You know what I'm saying? Like, I mean, just like with 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 with, with any any motherfucker that's that you don't feel like need to be in your family. But uh nah I, I get what you're saying, bro. Like I don't I don't totally disagree with everything you're saying. Only thing we're really disagreeing on is the simple fact that I feel like he's more in in synchronized with the principles of the Stark family in the north and, and you saying he's more Targaryen. But at the yeah, end of the I'm day to, uh, so so we I have to really we have to comb through this together right now. I'm trying to really think. See, it's, it's kind of a trick, man. It's kind of fire they did. That's why the show is written so well. He see, he grew up with Stark, so you think because he got the uniform on, you know, he got the dark hair like the mother. He's more with Stark. But when I when you think about his actions, it's more Targaryenish. It really is. I and mean, I'm thinking about the show now. I'm trying to think about what what is how is he like? How the fuck is he even like Rob? Like, how is he like Nate? How? How is he like Brand and Rick? Like, I don't see how. You, you mean, you mean, you mean Rob or Nate? Both. I, you use any one. I'm trying to figure out how he's. I can't think of how he is like them in any way. They, they, they. Well, I, 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 I can tell you. I can tell you. And, and this is the main one for me. The main one for me is because you got to think about it. Now, if you go to the book, you I mean, you can point out all kind of shit that you feel like Ned Stark no, did wrong. Well, yeah, but, but hold up. But that's what I'm saying. Like, that's, I'm, just, I'm just using that example. But if you go to the actual show, Ned Stark is not a character that they really just illuminate, like as far as the show is, called, as is concerned. In the show, they present Ned Stark as a very loyal and noble individual right. that oh, that their greatest fault is keeping that secret from Jon Snow. You see what I'm saying? Right. So, and, and on the on the on the on the flip side of that, for me, is this right here? I think he's more like I think he's more like Stark because the simple fact this right here. When it comes to fighting, when it comes to rallying people, when it comes to not. Doing it for the wrong reasons, which because I feel as though the wrong reasons is everybody has motives to sit on the iron throne. That has never been the motives of the Stark family, it, and that and that and that's across the board. You understand what I'm saying? So when you when it comes to fighting, in a sense, it's like they're not tainted in a in a. They just follow who they think is the right person at that particular time. You know what I'm saying? So you know because you gotta think about it. They go from uh um uh Robert Baratheon's family, okay, to now supporting a Targaryen family. You see what I'm saying? So they go they go from the last family that took took over the throne from, from the from the previous family. You dig what I'm saying? So again, Jon Snow is the guy that does not want to be on the throne and his nobility that his family speaks of in the show. Okay? Being loyal to a fault and being noble to a fault in a sense, that's all Jon Snow, man. That's all the North. That's all the North. That's not a Targaryen trait to me. 
But you know, we could be, you know what I'm saying? We can we could get all into it. Now the book is a totally different story. I think you got more of a, a solid point for me if you go based on the book argument. You know what I'm saying? Right. I mean, but even with the show, I, I mean, just with the show, you saying what Ned was able to do, but Rhaegar was the same way. I mean, and we only got a little oh, but we really didn't see. We really didn't see Rhaegar in the show. Listen, that's what I said. I said we got a little information on how he inspired people and led the battle of the Triton and all that kind of stuff. So, and he wasn't a, 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 a throne hungry type of person. You know, so I just feel like his Targaryen side, he's more, I feel like he really is a Targaryen more so than a Stark. Because I just don't see no, I mean, I see him, I see some similarities, what you're saying, with the Starks and what he tried to do. But like I said, when you go back and he tried to cut Sir Allison's throat, his, his curiosity, like he's supposed to be in his chambers, you know, and, and confined the quarters, and the man just had the, the 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 mindset to go figure out what was going on with uh Morgan. Like he he kind of defiant man, like a Targaryen, like kind of like Danny in a way. How da- Danny's very defiant, you know. She can be, and she tried to she try to do the right thing, but when you piss her off, as we seen, she can turn it up. Ned don't chop people's head off and kick the hung people. He can turn it up. John, John, I said Nate, I meant to say John. John can turn it I up. I was John, yeah. yeah, yeah. John, John can turn it up. And um, that's just that's just what I see. You know, that's just what I that what I see out of. And then, like I said, we got one more episode. So we're going to find out. We got one more. Yeah, hey, yeah, bro. I mean, look, I'm going to be real with you. I think, I think he the one that take, uh, I think he take the broad out, man. I yeah. mean, like, you know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? I think, I think he take, I think, I think, look, let me tell you something. I think he does what he has to do, man. You know what I'm saying? With Jon Snow, if you pay attention, Jon Snow always does what he has to do. Even from, even from bringing all the armies together. Like, he kneeled to, to Danny when he didn't have to. You know what I'm saying? He brought, he brought the nice watch. And the wildlings together, even when he didn't have to. But for the greater good, Jon Snow always does what he believes is though is right, although people may not agree with it. And I think so that's gonna who, come. Who, who do you think? I mean, is that is that a Star Trek pony? Nah, nah, nah. But no, no, no. no. That's, that, that's 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 why I'm coming at you. That's why I'm saying I don't know. I don't completely disagree with you. I right. think the basis of his principles is is stark all day long. But like, in the point, give, give, point to, give me something in the show, like you know, what I'm saying what you saying specifically. Like I think him, the, his, 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 him being noble. You gotta think about it, man. Him being noble and his loyalty to whoever he believes in. Well, you know Targaryen, what I'm saying? Targaryen's been shown that too. I'm just, so give me an example that's Starkish. It's not, it's not broad, but give me, give me something that, that that's Starkish. That's Starkish. All right. I, I just think about the, the king who knelt. That was they paid homage to that, and that and that that king that knelt knelt to a Targaryen, Aegon the Conqueror. So that's the only nod that I can really think of. And I, I I mean to be honest with you, that's because I don't see them chop people head off, but I seen them hang people too. See, that's what I'm saying. Like I seen John stab a motherfucker in the uh. That would hit a motherfucker in the head with a hammer. Like, I, I'm trying to figure out what what you saying is Starkish. Besides him kneeling to save his, to save everybody for the greater good for the to Daenerys, and they the uh, the uh, one of the Starks have done that before to a Targaryen. So this is what I'm saying right here. So when I when I say he's more Stark, all right, because you got to go when when you got to go the storyline based off the show. You got to go with the fam with with what the family has represented throughout the whole show, okay? And to me, the Stark family has represented the simple fact that, hey, we 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 want to be off over here to to, to we want to be isolated to our side of the world, which is the north, okay? 
We don't want nobody to come over here and fucking with us. You know what I'm saying? We're going to fight for the right reasons. You know what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, we're not going to be no pushovers, though. You understand what I'm saying? So, and this is the deal right here. And we don't want the throne, okay? Whoever's on the throne, whoever we back and whoever we representing, we cool with that. So, and this, and that's just, to me, what the Stark family represents as the entirety on the actual show. Now, the Targaryen family, to me, represents on the, on the show is, from even from the beginning, when uh, Thirsty, uh, not Thirsty, when... Um, what I can't think of his name when uh Daenerys' brother, uh Viserys. Yeah, Viserys. Even from the beginning of the show, their whole plot and storyline was based on regaining the throne. Okay? Uh the Baratheon family, which is technically the Lannister family as well, their whole plot line was maintaining the throne. Okay? Stannis, the, the Baratheon family, was well, Stannis was okay trying to get back what Ned had put in into his ear was basically, hey, you know, the motherfuckers that's going to be on that throne are not, are not Baratheon. They're Lannisters. Jamie right. is, you see what I'm saying? Yeah. Their whole storyline is trying to get the throne. Don, on the other hand, you know what I'm saying? They just going to be, they just going to back whoever they want to back. You understand what I'm saying? So, you, you know, you don't really, you can't really talk about, about those people over there. But their storyline is not very big. So I just think, as a general, what each family represents in the show is, I think that's the that's the symbolism of what Jon Snow is in the show. That's what I'm saying. I can't point to a, I mean, I could probably point to a direct scene or something like that or something, you know, in the show. But for one thing I could point to in the show that's stark, I could point to something else that may be semi-Targaryen. You see what I'm saying? So I just think the embodiment of his foundation and his base of what the families represent is Stark. You dig what I'm saying? Right, but see, the thing is, the Stark's not entitled to nothing. They relinquish that when they uh, kneel to the Targaryens. Is what I'm saying. But that, that, that's what I'm saying. They don't want. They don't want it though. That's no, that's no, no, not. No, no. It, it wasn't that they didn't want it. It's just they didn't have a choice. They couldn't fight. So you saying you now? I you talking as if though the North has always been independent. And they ain't never had nothing to do with you talking like the North is Dorn. Like, see, Dorn never they they married into the fold. They didn't get beat into the fold or submitted into the fold. People fail to realize when Aegon did his thing, the North said, fuck it, and nil. And, 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 and that's what their role is. They they service the crown. That's why that is, because they agreed to that pact. It's not because Ned. They, they agree to the fact. That, hold up, they they, they agree yeah. that based, based based on the on the show though, they agreed to the to the pact with the Baratheon family, not the Targaryen family. No, this, but this way this way it started from. We know we know that we know that this started from because we we are talking about both. So we know where the Targaryens begin at. So we got to get in their history. We can't omit that because it wouldn't make sense. Aegon Targaryen started the train to put all these motions in place for the Targaryens to seek the throne. Like you say, I agree. They are throne hungry, most of them, because they have they put themselves in position to do that. The Starks put themselves in, in position to always kneel and service the throne, regardless of who's on it. That's what I'm saying. So, yeah, no, no, look, hey, look, 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 zone, zone. Hey, I, I, when when you say that, right? You you right. They have like, I, and, I, and I mentioned that earlier. I said they all. I say the North is gonna be loyal to a fault for whoever they back in at that particular time. I agree with you on that, one hundred percent. Go ahead, go ahead. You're right. So I'm saying they're in position where they don't they don't have no choice. They're just honoring a situation. Cause them folks ain't stupid. No folks ain't finna uh, have them dragons come melt that damn snow down like that. No folks, no folks, you know, the North has a little bit more sense than it did everybody else. That's why they're loyal. They're not finna have their people uh, burnt by dragons. You understand? Let me ask you something. Let me ask you something, though. Let me ask you something. All right. So during the course of the show, right, when Robert, when Robert went on his run, when he was fighting all these battles. Right. Okay. Bruh. He was fucking, he was fucking over, uh, 
um uh what's the uh Cersei's father? Uh the Lannister. Not, uh, no, Tywin. Yeah, the Lannister. He was fucking over him. You know what I'm saying? It got to a point to where he became a problem, bruh. You know what I'm saying? Like they like, yo, this 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 young this young dude, like, he don't even want the throne and he he fucking he fucking people over. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, he's really becoming like a major player in a strategic a, 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 a very strategic guy when it comes to coming up with strategies for war. You know what I'm saying? That's why, you know, it came to a point to where he was gaining so much momentum to where they had to say, you know what, they had to say. people had to make moves and put a stop to it. You know what I'm saying? And, and he did all that, and he was doing it for all the right reasons. It wasn't to get on the throne. It was just because, you know, this shit that's going on ain't right. You know what I'm saying? It went to a point to where it was because they assassinated his father. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, it, 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 it's, it's, man, it's a good ass show, bro. That's all I can say. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's very, <laughs> it, 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 the shit good as hell. Yeah, I, I agree with you 100%. And I guess it could go either way. I just say, for me looking at the show, I peep that he, Slick is more like a Targaryen than you realize. Um, but he, he was around the starts, but, you know, he's more of a Targaryen than you realize. And if he end up, if he, and this will prove my point, if he's willing to kill Daenerys, unlike John, like uh, Ned Stark was, that's going to show you that Targaryen feel because when, when, when Daenerys was on her come up, John was kind of, not John, but uh, Ned was really kind of trying to save her. He was trying to stall Robert out. Oh, uh, man, you know, don't, let's not worry about that little girl. But he was really stalling her out because he knew he had the goddamn uh, nephew in his custody. So I, I don't know, man. I, I, it's going to be interesting to see the next episode. Hey, yo, fellas, I'm about to get a quick haircut real quick. I'm, I'm, I'm listening in, though. Yeah, do you think? They yeah. say, they say, uh, they say Bran gonna sit the throne, man. That's what they leaking out. They saying Judge Snow gonna kill Daenerys. And then, uh, he gonna take the black at the wall for some reason. And then they say they gonna vote, uh, to have Bran sit the throne. What you think about that, DJ? DJ Boxing Live here. DJ Boxing Live here.